Hello there, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn about linear optimization using graphical approach for an unbounded solution case. To learn about the other possible solution of LPP, the video links are in description below. The LPP can be sold using graphical method for two variables or simplex method for more number of variables. There are five possible solutions of LPP. In this video, we will learn about the unbounded solution. Let's revisit the steps to solve LPP using graphical method. Step 1 is to consider each constraint as an equation and graph them. Step 2 is to find feasible region for each constraint and find common feasible region in step 3. Step 4 is to find extreme points on this common feasible region. Step 5 is to calculate objective function value at these extreme point and finally in step 6 conclude the result. Let's consider a small example of two variables to understand the unbounded solution case. The objective function is to maximize z which is equals to 3x plus 2y subject to two constraints. First is x minus y less than or equals to 1 and second constraint is x plus y greater than or equals to 3. Both the variables x and y are positive so x comma y is greater than or equals to 0. Let's go step by step. Step 1 is to consider each constraint as an equation and graph them. First constraint is x minus y less than or equals to 1 and if we consider this as an equation it will be x minus y equals to 1. To draw this equation we are going to need two points on the graph. These points can be obtained by putting any value of one variable into the equation and obtaining the other variable. Let's put x equals to 0 and we get y equals to minus 1. We can either use this point or discard as the value of y is negative here. I will discard this point and if we put y equals to 0 we get x equals to 1. And this will be our first point in this case which is 1 comma 0. To obtain the other point we put a positive value of y. Let's put y equals to 2 and we get x equals to 3. So the other point will be 3 comma 2. We can draw a line connecting these two points for a first constraint. Now consider the second constraint and we have the respective equation x plus y equals to 3. By putting x equals to 0, we get y equals to 3 and by putting y equals to 0, we get x equals to 3. So the points are 0, 3 and 3, 0. We can draw a line connecting these two points which is in the blue color. Step 2 is to find feasible region for each constraint. First constraint is x minus y less than or equals to 1. To obtain the feasible region for this constraint, we have to consider a point on one side of the line. Let's the point is 0, 0. By putting x equals to 0 and y equals to 0 of this point into first constraint, we get 0 plus 0 less than or equals to 1, which satisfies the constraint. So the feasible region for first constraint will be the region from the line towards this point 0, 0. As both the variables are positive, so the feasible region here is restricted by x greater than 0 and y greater than 0, and it is shown in color red. The second constraint is x plus y greater than or equals to 3. Similarly, considering the point 0, 0 and put the values of x equals to 0 and y equals to 0 in this constraint, it does not satisfy the constraint as 0 plus 0 greater than or equals to 3 is not true. So the feasible region cannot be the region from the second line to the point 0, 0. Here we have to consider another point in the opposite direction of point 0, 0 from the second line. Let's the point is 2, 3. By putting x equals to 2 and y equals to 3, of this point 2 comma 3 in the second constraint we get 2 plus 3 greater than or equals to 3 which satisfies the constraint. So the region will be the area from second line towards the point 2 comma 3. It is shown in color blue. Both the regions together are shown on the screen. Now we can go to the step 3 and find common feasible region. It is shown on the screen. It is clear that the region is not bounded or restricted to a definite area. The constraints here are such that the common feasible region is going to the infinity in upward direction. Now step 4 is to find extreme points on the common feasible region. As the common feasible region is unbounded and going to the infinity, only two definite extreme points are present and other extreme points are at infinity. These two points are A at 2, 1 and B at 0, 3. Step 5 is to calculate objective function value. As the objective function is z equals to 3x plus 2y, the value of z at a is 8 and at b it is 6. Here one important observation is that the value of z at the extreme points at infinity is infinity. So in step 6, if we want to conclude the result with a maximization objective function, the value of z equals to 3x plus 2y is maximum at the extreme point at infinity. So we cannot get a definite optimal solution for this example. In case of 
same example is with minimization of z equals to 3x plus 2y the minimum point of z is at point b and that will be the optimal solution hence in case of unbounded feasible region the optimal solution may be obtained depending upon the maximization or minimization of the objective function and that's all for the unbounded solution case like and comment if you learn the graphical method of lpp subscribe to the channel if you are new here and hope to learn mathematics and optimization thank you